Good morning guys, how are we all doing? I am Dan from Trading with Dan. This is our Bitcoin morning update. So if you guys wouldn't mind smashing that like button, we shall go straight over to those Bitcoin for our charts. Uh, yeah, Bitcoin on the 4 hour, we are still uh, in in pretty much the midpoint of this rate range now. Uh, this resistance to the upside and then this support to the downside. Um, smack bang in the middle, no doubt we are waiting, uh, awaiting the uh, CPI number uh, tomorrow uh, to pick a direction. So today might be a bit quiet whilst we wait for that, unless obviously um, something interesting happens in the UK uh, where we have full on... Um, a full-on, obviously, uh, battle between the central bank and the and the government. The central bank basically trying to pressure the government to uh, not do the tax cuts because, at the end of the day, they're trying to tie, tighten the uh, tighten obviously the system, the money, tie, tighten the financial system to try and bring down inflation. And, and obviously, if the central bank is trying to tighten, and then the uh, and then there's obviously fiscal stimulus from the government. I mean. They're just playing against each other and cancelling each other out and also making each other uh, look pretty stupid. Um, so, yeah, we've got a bit of a battle going on there. Obviously, there is no real reason why a central bank uh, should think, feel it can pressure and pressure a government uh, based on what it wants to do. Let's not forget that it's a central bank that has caused all these problems with the currency, um, not the governments. Um, so, so yeah, central banks just basically fighting for their own existence. Uh, at this point, um, by trying to uh, trying to save this system that they basically were, and they are responsible for everything, and they're responsible for the uh, the wealth uh, the wealth inequality on this planet. Uh, central banks are literally um, basically the cancer of this planet uh, at, at the moment. Certainly, yeah, I mean, literally, they cause all the problems. The financial system is literally causes all the problems. The fiat system allows all the all the uh, all the conflicts to be uh, to be funded around the world, and that's all done uh, via central banks. So yes full-on uh, cancer of the planet and they are fighting for as cancer does uh, basically only cares for its own own survival um even if it even if it is going to kill the host the host being the planet uh, the planet's financial system so yes um we are seeing it uh, that battle rage in in obviously the uk so like yeah like i said it's something that develops over that then we can see what happens the central bank has said well we're having a we're gonna have a tantrum now and we're not gonna help the markets in three days literally holding holding the uh, holding the uh, the uh, government to ransom over this whether or not you do or don't like the government's policies um it is a bit interesting that um central banks uh, are able to wield that sort of power so anyway failing anything developing from that um we have got cpi and then obviously we've got the deadline of the uh, uk stuff uh, the basically the deadline of the of the well the easing uh, this friday um so yeah interest interesting times i think we will basically um, either putting a bomb here, start to move up and continue to move up, or we'll cut, or we'll capitulate lower, <clears throat> putting a bomb there and start to move. But either way, I think we're at the the ending process of this uh, of this prop, well, maybe at the ending process of this uh, down down move in in all risk assets for the medium term. <clears throat> whether we then um, just top out and after a nice decent medium term rally and then come back down low will, will remain to be seen, but. Um, we are getting to the point of peak peak fear here, it would seem. Uh, S&P, as you can see, just flirting with these lows, flirting with the trap door um, down to obviously the 32 to 3400 level. Bad CPI number, we're going to be it. We're going to have a 34 handle without a doubt. Um, but um, but yeah, a good CPI number, and then we could easily be on our way back to 4K. Um, oil um, is easing off, uh, got right into its resistance. Um, <clears throat> right into its resistance area um, and now is easing off so basically is it just having a bit of a pullback at this well the lower side of the resistance area and is it going to then take out continue upwards and cause more pain for the market we shall see the 10 year flirting around with these highs as well looking pretty uh, pretty bad for markets there uh, and the DXY similarly uh, looking quite strong here um, so yeah <laughs> not much not much good going on we'll just have a quick glance at those uh at those um <coughs> uk bonds those gilts um basically trading uh if it closes for our candle down here closing at a new low um so yeah we had the sell-off we had the intervention we've had the sell-off basically to lows i.e intervention irrelevant um and apparently they're gonna actually stop the intervention <coughs> so what do you guys think is going to happen? What do you think is the outcome of this? Uh, 
let's just look at it at a, at a, on a weekly time scale. I mean, it just kind of puts it in perspective uh, for you. The um, the expression not to catch a falling knife is what uh, comes into mind here. However, however, as with many markets uh, <clears throat> on weekly time frames, we are running into TD nines. Uh, TD sequential nines, uh, Tom DeMarc uh, indicator nines. So I mean, if we look at uh, maybe if we look at bit uh, where where are we gonna look? Yeah, the start market um, running into a nine uh, next week. Um, Nascoin running into nine next week. No, oil's not oil's not as as important. Um, DXY at a weekly nine uh, now. Um, <clears throat> let's just have a quick look at Bitcoin. Um, Bit well, yeah, Bitcoin is on a weekly nine. Obviously, price action has not really done much, but on a weekly nine, also, so plenty, plenty of weekly nines in literally practically every every asset. So, um, there is a significant chance of a uh, what is it? A one to, a one to four week correction, uh, even if it's just a correction and not just a low. It could and it could then obviously turn into uh, a better a better move than that. Um, a more prolonged move to higher levels, but yeah, at present, at present, there is that opportunity there, and uh, yeah, I mean, we 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 seem to realistically be at kind of peak foot. Uh, the Fed, there cannot really be too many more uh, extra uh, rate hikes getting pricing by the Fed, regardless of what inflation does at this point, because obviously the Japanese yen is going. Uh, is going uh, haywire as we can see here uh, obviously the the U UK gilts are getting whacked the UK currency um, also well it's not looking too brilliant um, but yeah just yeah I think I think we could potentially get either the keep capitulation move or we will reverse back up for a nice medium time frame move based off CPI but either way capitulation move down on CPI then we will have a medium time frame bounce from whatever level uh, or a good CPI reading will get a medium term bounce um, from from this level basically if that is the case if that's where we are in going into a good CPI number so uh, that is about it uh, not much else to say remember this is not financial advice I'm not a financial advisor always do your own research and I shall speak to you fine people soon